my life has been quite a mess lately so I was like let's do something fun today. Let's do a witchy Halloweeny makeup and talk about all of my must see movies that you just have to watch on Halloween or a little bit before after Halloween. Let's do it like in old makeup days. If you want to know how to get this makeup look, even though this is not a tutorial, if you need movie recommendations for Halloween, this is the video. <laughs> Let's start with the makeup. Nothing like a cold Coke Zero. We're gonna start with the spooky movies and then we're gonna go into the non-spooky movies. Not every horror movie is a movie that I want to watch around Halloween. It has to have a certain Halloween Halloween vibe. And I want to start off with the first, which is the most obvious one, which is Halloween. It already has it in the title. I mean, you have to watch Halloween on Halloween. I mean, the OG, the John Carpenter, not the 2018 remake, not the Rob Zombie remake, even though I think both of them are surprisingly quite good. It is pretty much about Michael Myers, who kills his sister as a kid, like he was still a kid, gets into a mental, mental, a mental institution and then breaks out on Halloween. And this is where the fun starts. But this is what I love about Halloween so much. It is not super like jump scary. It is not like gory. It's not unnecessarily brutal you know it just tells the story and it creates tension and uh, for me it is the best horror movie and it is my favorite horror movie of all time ever. Talking about the whole gory theme you know there are different kind of horror movies obviously you know you have more slasher horror movies you have more movies that are more into the gory very bloody type of style or paranormal movies i need a little bit more foundation there's so many different types of movies i'm not into the gory theme at all so last year i remember we watched terrifier if you've never seen it i wouldn't recommend watching that movie except you really like Gore. Because I was like, Terrifier, it's around Halloween, it is a clown, sounds scary, but it was just absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. I didn't like it at all. I don't think it's a good movie. Yeah, it's just like my stomach was just turning. So if you like that kind of stuff, maybe it's good. Have you ever seen House of Thousand Corpses? Because that is a good movie. I have to say, objectively, it is a good movie. But it just makes, it has that feeling. You leave feeling sick after the movie. Like after the movie, I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know if I can watch a horror movie again. By the way, have you watched all the Halloween movies? Because we did that. Not last year, I think it was two years ago. And oh my gosh, that was a journey watching all of the Halloween movies. We said we have to watch them again and give them a ranking, which I can tell you that Halloween is going to be number one. But <laughs> from all the other movies, and every time we watch the movies, we were like, okay, it cannot get worse than that, right? And it always got worse. Another all time classic is Scream. Horror movies, the opening scene alone. If you have seen a movie multiple times, of course, it loses its effect maybe a little bit. But if you remember what you were thinking when you watched it for the first time I was I was shocked I was like oh my god <laughs> I think it's the best opening scene like ever it was so good and I still love love that movie I don't even know if it's themed around Halloween but I always feel like it's in my memory around Halloween because it is such a popular Halloween costume but I think there's a Halloween party it's pretty is there oh my gosh I've seen that film multiple times absolute classic 10 out of 10 recommend if you've never seen it I am so jealous I'm so jealous if you've never seen Scream and you can watch it for the first time then we have another film which is called scary stories to tell in the dark and I vaguely remember the film. You know when you only remember if you liked it or not? And I personally liked the film, but I have to rewatch it again. In 1968, the night of Halloween brings mayhem in a small town when a group of friends discover a notebook written by a mysterious girl that foretells terrifying events. It is themed around Halloween and I just remember that it was really good, but I don't remember what happened. And this is my favorite thing that can ever happen to me. If I already saw the movie, but I cannot remember it really well, I can watch it again. Another one that we watched last year, year is House on Haunted Hill and I'm not talking about that awful remake I am talking about the OG House on Haunted Hill which is a black white movie with Vincent Price and oh my gosh I was so shocked I think it was the first movie I ever saw 
Vincent Price, not that I saw that many, but I've always been a huge fan of House of Wax, the remake, and I always wanted to see the original one with Vincent Price. Frederick Lauren, a millionaire, along with his fourth wife, Annabelle, invites five people to a house on a hilltop for a haunted house party, promising them 10,000 US dollars, which I think is so funny, because they obviously raised that price in the new movie, because of inflation, if they make it through the night. And of course, <laughs> weird things happen over the course of the night who would have thought um but that movie is ahead of its time like this was scary i don't want to hype it up too much because i feel like the more you hype a movie then you're more disappointed as if you go in blank if you think about that it, it's a 1959 movie um you know the movies were much more slow paced i personally do prefer that i personally liked it it was such a good movie and this year i definitely want to find something similar maybe also with vincent price i'm not someone who is like oh the old days were better old music was better but for some reason and i don't know what it is i feel like after the 90s i don't like how the cameras look i don't like the dialogues i think it is so weird when phones are in movies it kind of really ruins the vibe and I don't know. I do prefer watching older movies, even though there are amazing movies, obviously, after the 90s. I mean, Harry Potter and a lot of other good movies, but you know. House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price. Oh my gosh, such a good movie. Like, even the theme of it, I'm like, oh my gosh, the cover, like a film. I was like, oh wow, what is this? Amazing. The next one that we also watched last year is called Blood Rage or Nightmare at Shadow Woods, which I'm not sure why it has two titles. This is basically about twin brothers and one of the twin brothers kills someone and then also gets into a mental institution and then breaks free again. It sounds similar like Halloween if you think about it. Uh, I loved that movie. It wasn't the best movie ever, you know? Sometimes I feel like it doesn't have to be the best movie ever in order for me to like it. You know, sometimes these movies get a little bit weird and I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what is happening? My favorite term lately has been Fever Dream, which is watched Suspiria and I was like, what is going on? I don't know why I have it associated with Halloween. To be honest maybe because we watched it on halloween but i can tell you it has a he halloween vibe theme to the movie next on the list i have trick or treat which honestly i have to i have to watch again i watched it once and i i didn't get it there were so many like it, it is such a weird movie that i was like i don't think i understood all of the plot thing is so i want to watch it actually again this year because i'm not sure if i like it but it definitely has a halloween vibe i don't know if it's in the halloween theme or not but it i mean it has the clown theme right so i don't know which one i should recommend like the old or the remake i personally am a huge fan of the remake of the remake i think it is amazing i don't care what other people say the original has the issue of being too long and having that part that I didn't like about the second it that they did now, I didn't like that one. And the first movies both combined. I'm a big fan of the remake, even though Tim Curry plays Pennywise in the OG. So, you know, but it. Something I want to quickly touch on is Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp, if you've never seen it. I wouldn't consider this a spooky movie, but I want to put it into this category if you are very scared of everything. I don't think it is a horror. Is it? Is it a thriller? I don't know. It's about Crane, a police officer, gets transferred to the Westchester County hamlet of Sleepy Hollow, New York, for using unacceptable methods of investigation. This wouldn't tell me anything about the movie, to be <laughs> completely honest. I don't know why movie descriptions are so weird. What category is it though? Horror fantasy. So it is considered horror. I don't think it is that spooky, creepy, but I, st I, I love that movie. It is, I think it is a perfect Halloween movie. Something that is maybe not really in the Halloween theme, but I still want to mention it, is the whole Conjuring Annabelle the Nun universe. I know a lot of people hate on these movies, okay? I'm not one of these people. I think Conjuring is one of the best horror movies they've made in a long time. It is so good. I was scared to the absolute the same goes for Annabelle. I watched that movie in cinema and I will never forget how... I was so scared. What I love about that movie especially is it starts off so strong. Um, it gets weird during the end, but it starts off so strong. I was like, oh my gosh, why is this happening? It just started. The Nun, honestly, not the best movies, but I still think they have a creepy vibe. I mean, not every one of them is good. Conjuring is a masterpiece. Two is like, okay, and then it just, we don't talk about the rest. And the same goes for Annabelle. One, masterpiece. Two, well, it's good. And then three, well, um... <laughs> and the Nun, 
I don't know, they, the Nun had so much potential, but I feel like they, I don't know where they messed up. What are we gonna watch this year? I'm not sure yet. What I have on the list, what I haven't seen yet for this year is The Witch. It has very good reviews. I also have on the list The Return of the Living Dead, which also sounds very Halloween-y to me. But like I said, I have not seen that movie. Salem's Lot, which I'm not sure right now, but I think it's a Stephen King book. It's three hours long though, but I still think it would fit the Halloween theme very well. And then I have Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which already sounds like a fever dream, but I'm open for that, like at 2 a.m. <laughs> or watching Killer Clowns first and then watching like an old Vincent Price movie or something like that. Maybe that's gonna be the plan. Maybe let me finish off my brows because I feel like I cannot focus anyway. And then we can do the fun part. We can do the eyeshadow and also talk about the Halloween movies that are not Spooky. Okay, I don't think my eyebrows look the best, but <laughs> we're gonna leave them like that. They're just another spooky, spooky thing about this video, I guess. So, let me pull up the list again. The first, a very Halloween... I don't think it's a Halloween movie, but it's more like a fall movie. So, but I still want to mention it, which is obviously Harry Potter. Harry Potter for me is like... Wowie! My dog is licking his paws like there's no tomorrow. Harry Potter obviously doesn't need any other explanation than it being Harry Potter. If you've never seen it, please go watch it. I love Prisoner of Azkaban. Don't get me wrong. And I know a lot of people say they like the later movies. I love the first two movies, okay? I love the first. You have no idea. Chris Columbus got it in the first two movies, in my opinion. Like, they are so cozy. I also prefer the actor from Dumbledore, maybe a little bit. It has all of this, like, cozy theme, and oh my gosh, it just got the seasons right with Halloween and Christmas and what we all love about the movies and the books, right? And I think in the other movies, of course, more is happening, but it's so dark and so depressing. Like, what did they do to the Great Hall? Why is it so depressing afterwards? I don't get it. I think my favorite of all time is gonna be Chamber of Secrets, which always gets the most hate and I don't know why. Another Halloween movie of course is Hocus Pocus. If you've never seen it, I mean I think everyone has seen it right. Hocus Pocus is a classic Halloween movie. I always watch it around Halloween. If I don't watch it on Halloween, I watch it around there somewhere because it is just that movie that puts you in a mood, in the vibe and you just have to see it once before Halloween or after Halloween, somewhere around that. Next one is Halloween Town. There's always this debate of Halloween Town or Hocus Pocus. I personally didn't watch any of the two movies when I was a child. I don't know why I watched them very, very late. Probably because I always only watched cartoons when I was a child. I personally do prefer Hocus Pocus a little bit, but Halloween Town is also super, super cute. Next one is Casper. I'm sure everyone has heard of Casper or seen Casper. I love that movie so, so much. I think it is so cute. I can rewatch it a hundred times. I think the eyeshadow is expired. It doesn't really do anything. Maybe let's try it with the hand. Then next we have The Haunted Mansion. Oh yeah, this is better. <laughs> the Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. I also think this is a perfect movie, obviously, for Halloween. It's a kid's movie. It's not creepy or anything. I saw the movie when I was a little bit younger, not too young, and I still thought it's a little bit creepy, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while, so I definitely need to rewatch that one. Something I watched this year for the first time, only for the reason that I could never find that movie anywhere on any streaming platform, is Coraline. I'm sure everyone has seen Coraline except for me. I love Coraline. I, I get the hype now. I get the hype around Coraline now. It has become like only by watching it once it is a movie now that I want to watch every year because it is so good. I'm not sure if you think it is a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie. For me actually it is a Christmas movie which is The Night Before Christmas. I count it as a Christmas movie okay but I'm gonna mention it because it is still Halloween themed. Yeah, I love that movie. I think this is such a great movie and I still think it captures um, the Halloween vibe. Um, obviously because it is in Halloween town. I personally watch it after Halloween and before Christmas. Kind of like this transition movie, you know. Warning, it is a musical. I'm not someone who likes singing in movies, but this movie, like the songs are just so good. It's like I have, I have to literally do my best um, to not listen to the soundtrack after watching the movie because these songs just get 
stuck. You can never get rid of them again. <laughs> Next we have Corpse Bride, which I have seen I think twice and I still... I remember what it is about, but it's not like I have this clear vision like with Nightmare Before Christmas maybe. I love that movie. It is obviously very Halloween-y. And then I wrote a movie down, which you're all gonna judge me that I have never seen it. This is Beetlejuice. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the new movie. I have never seen the original. So this is what I want to watch uh, around Halloween for sure because I've never seen it and I just am dying to watch it. Was I in a too bright lighting the entire time? Because you know the sun is going down, it is super cloudy today <laughs> and I was like I need a studio light, I need some lighting in front of me because otherwise you're not going to see anything. Like, this is just a cheap Amazon ring light. It has no business whatsoever to be that bright, okay? Since we're not doing a tutorial, and this is the, this doesn't even need to look good or anything, I'm just gonna put on my mascara. We're not gonna put on lashes. I already have enough mental breakdowns. I don't need to trigger another one by trying to put on fake lashes, right? I'm not gonna walk my dog in this. Can you imagine? I mean, I could... I could... <laughs> remove it. I mean, I just put it on, right? Let's at least have a walk. Let's at least do something with the makeup, you know? Now we put all the effort into it. I was so obsessed with dark colors back in the day, you know, when we were in the 2015-16 makeup days and everyone was wearing this super extreme makeup, including me. I just didn't like the way how you couldn't drink anything. I mean, we had the liquid lipsticks, the matte liquid, matte liquid lipsticks, but gosh, my lips were always dry when I wore them. I have this MAC lipstick I don't think I ever used it. It is called Smoke Purple. I don't think you can see it because the light is so bright. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not gonna go in with lip liner because I feel like I don't like lip liner and I don't want to even look for a dark lip liner like this, so we're just gonna go in. Wow, it is so dark. But it is pretty, right? Oh gosh, and that lipstick feels so soft on the lips. Maybe I should put in some earrings. I mean, it kind of has a witchy vibe, right? Like with my long black hair. Not that bad. Well, this is the makeup look. I don't know. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you not like it? I think it is. It was quite fun. Oh no, I have to stick on my teeth. If I forgot to mention any movies or if you have other movie recommendations, spooky or non-spooky, leave me a comment. I hope this video brought you somewhat of joy. I feel so much better, honestly, after filming it. So I hope you also feel better after watching it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.